Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Monday, January 11th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but don't tell that to Darren Charles. The longtime veteran of the IFBB stage became a bit of an afterthought in the later years of what was truly a spectacular career on the bodybuilding stage, where he won innumerable shows along the way. But thanks to the advent of the new Classic Physique division, the man who may have a legitimate claim to having the best biceps in the history of bodybuilding is making a comeback to the stage. Yes, you heard that right. New photos surfaced this past week of Charles looking absolutely spectacular with rumors circulating that he'll be hitting the stage sometime in the month of April. Just about everyone in the business preemptively picked Sadiq Hodzevic as the uncrowned king of the classic physique division. But with the very dangerous Darren Charles forcing his name into the conversation, it may be time to reevaluate the predictions. Just about seven weeks out from making his highly anticipated pro debut, teen sensation turned future IFBB pro star Cody Montgomery is barreling along full speed ahead. A few weeks ago, Montgomery sent shockwaves across the community with his announcement that he'd be bringing his talents to the pro stage for the very first time at the upcoming Arnold Classic, where he's going to learn quick, fast, and in a hurry what it means to do battle on a pro stage. I don't think there's anyone that'll debate the talent and heart of the boy wonder. But jumping right into a lineup that's going to feature multiple former champions and Olympians is a move that is unprecedented to say the least. But in this world we live in, you can't have big rewards without taking big risks. And if Montgomery can bring his all-time best to the stage and finish inside the top six, he'll certainly add another major capture to his fledgling bodybuilding legacy. Outside of Flex Lewis, there wasn't a 212 competitor on the planet who had a better season last year than Jose Raymond. Last year, the Boston Mass kicked things off in a major way by putting together his best look ever for the Arnold Classic before going on to collect a second place at the 212 Olympia and a win at the Prague Pro. Heading into this year's Arnold Classic, Raymond is considered the runaway favorite to leave Columbus with his second title in hand propelling him to what could be another monster season. But no one is just going to hand Jose the trophy just for showing up. If he wants this win, he's going to have to earn it. And that means that for the next seven weeks, he better be locked and ready to go. Because one minor slip might be all that something and someone like Hide Yamagishi needs to step in and seal his fate. Ladies and gentlemen, Iris Kyle is officially back in business. Since generating quite a bit of buzz following her announcement that she'd be returning to the stage again in 2016, the only 10-time Olympia champion in the history of the sport has been slowly but surely rounding herself back into form. Over the weekend, new photos surfaced showing a super impressive looking Kyle, giving her fans a sneak peek of what's to come later this year. For years, we heard fans clamor for the comebacks of the Lavronis, Cutlers, and Colemans of the world. But the truth is that all their dominance pales in comparison to what Iris Kyle has been able to accomplish in her career. And the fact that she's decided to lace them up once again and give it another run might be something we should all be paying very close attention to. Iris Kyle isn't the only woman looking to reestablish her presence on the female bodybuilding scene this year. Former North American champion and two-time pro champ Monique Jones also looks like she's gearing up for another strong run. Jones had a bit of an up and down season in 2015, bringing in one of the best looks we've seen from her at the Omaha Pro, but failed to bring the goods to the Texas Pro later in the year. When she wants to, Jones can put together one hell of a look that's capable of beating just about anyone in women's bodybuilding. And if she's really determined to bring her best to the stage in 2016, look out because Hurricane Monique is going to do some serious damage once she touches down. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. 
I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hey guys, it's Stevie B here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button below and never miss another RX Muscle show, segment, or update. RX Muscle is number one.